Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Invest some time to practice your A1 and A2 comprehension skills with my short stories. Because in 10 minutes or 15 minutes you can maybe vacuum your room and make it look nice or you can spend the time really getting intensive lessons without even noticing it. Let's go! So today we will continue with our short story. It's all about Anastasia's birthday. We have a little dilemma with the present for her. Try to watch until the end. Listen first, try to understand. And then I will teach you grammar patterns and vocabulary. Like, subscribe if you like the content and you want to learn German with my many series on this channel. Wir hören den Text. Im Wohnzimmer stehen und sitzen die Gäste und unterhalten sich. Karim steht auf dem Balkon mit Freunden. Thomas steht am Buffet. Wen soll sie zuerst informieren? Und wie soll sie es machen? Anastasia darf es nicht mitbekommen. Sie geht zum Balkon. Vier Leute stehen draußen. Einige rauchen, die anderen stehen dabei. Der Balkon ist zu voll und ich will nicht, dass die anderen mich hören. Dann besser zu Thomas. Der Buffettisch ist gedeckt mit leckeren Sachen. Salate, Pizza und süße Cupcakes. Anastasia hat sich viel Mühe gegeben. Ruby nimmt sich einen Cupcake und schleicht sich an Thomas ran. Zum Glück steht er gerade alleine. Thomas, pst, ich muss dir was sagen, flüstert Ruby. Was denn? fragt Thomas verwundert. Anastasia hat schon das BWL-Buch. Ich habe es in ihrem Zimmer gesehen. Oh Mist, dann ist unser Geschenk ja ein Flop. Ja, und jetzt? Was wirst du machen? Thomas überlegt und sagt dann, ich muss ein neues Geschenk finden. Ich gehe kurz rüber. Er rennt schnell aus der Wohnung. Und was ist mit Karim? denkt Ruby irritiert. Sie folgt Thomas in seine Wohnung. Thomas ist in seinem Zimmer und sucht in den Regalen. Ich finde nichts, sagt er panisch. Was können wir tun? Keine Panik, ich habe eine Idee, sagt Ruby. Okay, we will start reading and trying to understand sentence by sentence. I think you already can see that you need to watch my other stories to get a feeling for the characters and for what happens before. Let's go. Im Wohnzimmer stehen und sitzen die Gäste und unterhalten sich. Here we have two main sentences separated by und. So in the first part we say in the living room, dativ, guests are sitting and standing and they are talking. Sich unterhalten is reflective. The subject could be here again if you wanted und sie unterhalten sich, the guests. But we don't have to say it, it's too much. We can skip it because we have two main sentences with the same subject. Karim steht auf dem Balkon mit Freunden. Here we have Dativ twice. Karim stands on the balcony auf dem Balkon and mit needs also Dativ with friends. And again, same grammar. Thomas stands at the table or the buffet, whatever you want to say. Wen soll sie zuerst informieren? We have a modal verb, to should, to must, to have to. And here is our normal verb or our final verb. Zuerst means first. So who should she inform first? Because they both bought a present for Anastasia. It's the same present. They bought it together. The question word is akkusativ. You can see it on the end here. Und wie soll sie es machen? And how should she do it? Our subject, sie. But we have a question word here. Wie, question words come in front. Of course, the und makes it a little different, but still. Question word, verb, subject, object. This is a typical order. And we have a modal verb. Therefore, the final verb is at the end. And how should she do it? Anastasia darf es nicht mitbekommen. Mitbekommen is a nice verb. It means to find it out, to check something. In English, you would say to find out. Anastasia is not supposed, supposed to find it out. 
She's not allowed. Dürfen by itself means allowed. So Anastasia shouldn't find it out. Sie geht zum Balkon. She goes to the balcony. Zu is also dative. It's not a wechsel preposition. Therefore, it's dative, even though it's a movement. I talked about it before. Check out my grammar lessons, of course, and also my other short stories. Some things I talked about many times. Vier Leute stehen draußen. Four people are standing outside. Einige rauchen. Einige means some. Some of them are smoking. Die anderen, the others, stehen dabei. I chose this on purpose. It's not A2 grammar. It's almost B1. Bei etwas jemandem stehen means to stand by or at something or somebody. So the others are standing by. It literally means the balcon is too full. The balcony is too crowded. Full without context means full. But in English, I would say crowded is better. Und ich will nicht, dass die anderen mich hören. And I don't want that, das, the others, hear me. Akkusativ, mich. Dann besser zu Thomas. Then better to Thomas. This one is not a whole sentence because there is no verb. Of course, we could say, dann gehe ich besser zu Thomas. Then I better go to Thomas. But again, we leave it out. It's just easier and more fluent. Der Buffettisch ist gedeckt mit leckeren Sachen. Mit, again, dativ. The table is gedeckt is a nice German word. I don't know how to say it in English word by word. But if a table is set with plates, with food, we say gedeckt sein. So you can remember, I can write you here the pattern. Den Tisch decken, to set the table with tasty stuff, with tasty things. Lecker, tasty. Salate, Pizza und süße Cupcakes. Salads, Pizza and sweet cupcakes. As you see here, the adjective changes in front of a noun. I talked about it before also. Anastasia hat sich viel Mühe gegeben. Anastasia put in a lot of effort. Die Mühe, the effort. And we have here perfect tense, past tense. Ruby nimmt sich einen Cupcake und schleicht sich an Thomas ran. We have two reflective terms here. Ruby takes a cupcake, first part, and sneaks on or like slowly, sneaky, tries to <laughs> approach Thomas. Ranschleichen is like to sneak on to somebody. It's reflective. And here, nimmt sich, takes for herself a cupcake. You don't have to say it. You can also say, Ruby nimmt einen Cupcake. Totally fine. You don't have to say for herself. It's an additional thing. Zum Glück steht er gerade alleine. Zum Glück is a vocabulary, a pattern, means luckily. He stands alone at the moment. Thomas, pst, ich muss dir was sagen. Easy pattern, I have to tell you something. Maybe the dear, you should think always about accusative or dative. Jemandem etwas sagen is dativ. I have to tell you something. Whispers, Ruby. Was denn? Again, then I translated it many times. It's for emphasis, anticipation. Um, yeah, it's this kind of filler word that's not necessary. Thomas could also say was. Or was ist es? What is it? So what is it? What asks Thomas? Surprised or confused. Anastasia hat schon das BWL-Buch. Easy sentence. Anastasia already has the BWL, the economy book. Ich habe es in ihrem Zimmer gesehen. Perfect tense. I did see it in her room. In ihrem. Dativ. Oh Mist. This is like a curse word, but it's really not a bad one. Not the hardest and not the lightest. Dann ist unser Geschenk ja ein Flop. So our present will be a flop then. Ja, similar than then is not translatable. It's again for emphasis. It is not the ja that means yes, but it means 
again, this emphasis on trying to put strength to your statement, either just for emphasizing a surprise element, but also trying to convince some that what you're saying to somebody. Yeah, ja, und jetzt? Yes, and now? Was wirst du machen? What will you do? Thomas überlegt und sagt dann, Thomas thinks about it or considers and says then, ich muss ein neues Geschenk finden. I have to find a new present. Neues, Akkusativ. Ich gehe kurz rüber. If you watch my channel and you also have read my other 20 short stories I tried to put out for you, you know that Thomas is Anastasia's neighbor because they all live in a dorm, so it's easy for him to go to his place. Rüber gehen means to go over, to go to, to another place. You can really imagine this kind of movement. So we are here. And we cross some area and go somewhere else. Ich gehe rüber. You can say this for streets. But also I go to the next or opposite building. Rüber. So I'm going, I'm going to the apartment for a second. He wants to express. Kurz, short, for a short while. Er rennt schnell aus der Wohnung. He runs quickly out of the apartment. Dativ. Und was ist mit Karim? Denkt Ruby irritiert. And what is about, or what is it with Karim? What's about him? Ruby thinks, irritated, confused. Sie folgt Thomas in seine Wohnung. She follows Thomas into his place, into his apartment. Folgen needs also dativ, but because it's a name, you don't see it. So be careful with that. Don't think just because it's not visible, it's not there. If you would say she follows him into the apartment, we would say... Sie folgt ihm. And then you see immediately, ah ja, yeah, sure, it's Dativ. She follows him into his apartment. Thomas ist in seinem Zimmer und sucht in den Regalen. Thomas is in his room and searches or looks in, in his shelves. Ich finde nichts, sagt er panisch. I find nothing. He says, panicky or panicking. Was können wir tun? What can we do? Keine Panik, no panic. Die Panik, female. Ich habe eine Idee, sagt Ruby. I have an idea, says Ruby. Die Idee, female. This is it for today. I tried to keep it a little shorter. I hope this helps. Leave it in the comments below if you like the length, if it's too much or not enough or what else you want to hear, maybe a topic. And I will try to put it into my stories. Thanks for being here and watching and learning with me. Don't give up, even if it looks hard sometimes. Just keep going, learning, try to be active with the language. And I will see you very soon with this series or with one of my many others. Bye!